Now the shares of Naspers drop 0.82%, which is a further decline, which we are seeing into this uh, uh, company Nespant. Now, Naspers is a stock that we've talk or discuss a lot about on this channel this is a stock that uh, i personally i am investing in because i know that these shuffles that we have witnessed into this stock are short term and in the long term this is a stock which is just said to do very well i mean i've discussed their earnings which of course they were so massive and robust and of course those of you that have been following and have watched the previous videos that have, i was discussing this naspa stock you know that one of the main reasons why this stock is down this low is simply before I fact uh, that uh, they own a, a Chinese tech company called Tencent. Now Tencent, uh, one of their main reasons why they are falling or oh, Nasdaq stock has been falling sharply is for the fact that they just released their quarterly earnings results or their three months quarterly earnings results which of course uh, it, they did not manage to beat analyst expectation they sort of like reported disappointing earnings which of course uh, like i said you know that the problem with naspers is of course uh, the crackdowns that the chinese regulators have been imposing into the big tech stocks like tencent and alibaba so this is one of the things that i personally think it of course had a serious impact into tencent's earnings and getting to know of course that the chinese government it is planning on easing the crackdowns or even taking them or lifting them off on this big tech stock is something that must just show you that there is definitely wonderful news at the end of the tunnel naspas as soon as uh, these uh, crackdowns are lifted off uh, these big tech stocks like Tencent, we are going to see stocks or shares like Nespers uh, uh, soaring in terms of the share price, which is something that, of course, must just make you to be patient with the Nespers stock. And already the good thing is that the Chinese government or the Chinese regulators have already came in and said that they are planning to take away the crackdowns or lift off the crackdowns from these big tech stocks which is going to definitely revive their earnings which is something that is incredible now of course before we go any further you already know that this video is just an entertainment video and you should not take it as a professional financial advice video if you seek a professional financial advice you already know what to do by now and that is you need to go and consult the professionals now i really appreciate if you hit that likes button that if you enjoy the content that i'm giving you about nespers or the latest content let me put it like that that i'm giving you about nespers please do make sure that you hit that likes button as it helps with youtube's algorithm now as i've said the main reasons why the shares of nespers have been dropping is for effect of the 10 cent shares not performing good as you know that for those of you that have been following for some time you know that nespers owns approximately or around 29% of Tencent. So uh, they owned that big stake in Tencent, which of course, when the shares of Tencent falls down, the shares of Nespers also get affected, which is something that we are seeing with the fact that the shares of uh, Tencent fell after those uh, uh, earnings or disappointing or quite sort of like disappointing earnings we saw the share price of also naspas falling down following the sharp falls that we witnessed or saw on tencent i mean after those earnings we saw the naspas stock falling or below 1600 rand per share which was of course a five percent decline which again must just show you that these tencent or tencent shares are sort of like directly proportional to naspas when tencent shares or tencent stock drops naspa stock will also drop when tencent stock rises naspa stock will also rise which is something that of course you must always bear in mind and something that of course resulted or is resulting in the shares of naspa also dropping now of course you know that tencent is one of the biggest tech companies in china i mean though this earnings they were so quite sort of like disappointing you remember that still on these very same earnings they reported uh, total revenues of around 20.1 billion dollars now just by looking at the revenue that they've reported you can just 
see that this is a company that is so big and massive especially when looking at the fact that they have a market cap of around 3.29 trillion yen or rmb or chinese yen which is something that must just show you that this is a very big company which is why you see or it's so just sort of like justify why they can report or easily report total revenues or quarterly revenues of around 20.1 billion dollars so this 10 cent stock before the crackdown it was trading around 600 rnb or chinese yen which now after those crackdowns were being imposed on this big tech stock we are seeing it trading or below 350 uh, RMB or Chinese yen, which is something that must just show you that these crackdowns have really impacted the growth on this uh, Tencent company, which, of course, like I said, it does affect Naspers directly. So, because Naspers owns 29% of this big tech company, uh, Tencent. But though this Tencent did not report revenues as anticipated, it is a company that did not miss the anticipated revenue or what analysts had expected it to generate in terms of revenue by March. As, as soon on the screen, you'll notice that it missed the revenue by just over 3%, which is something that must just show you that this is a company that one way or the other is, is doing well. And I believe that in the future, especially that now we know that the Chinese uh, regulators or government are going to lift of the crackdowns into these big tech stocks like Tencent and Alibaba is one of the things that of course will make this stock to recover and of course when that happen the shares of Naspas are also definitely going to recover which those that are loading the boat onto Naspas at these low trading levels are definitely going to enjoy the good returns uh, that they are going to reap from Naspas uh, uh, recovering also when this Tencent stock also uh, recover. I personally believe that it's a long term win. Now, Naspas is a company that if you have to check even on it, its revenues or its earnings or its financial statements, you'll notice that they are doing well well uh, financially and of course like again those that want to see how they did financially just of course go visit a video that i did about naspas also uh, covering their latest uh, uh, financials uh, which of course they did very well otherwise with all that guys i just thought i should just give you this a quick updates on the naspas uh, stock and if you enjoyed like i said please do make sure that you hit that likes button and subscribe that if you've not subscribed to the channel already so that you don't miss the good content like this of the stocks that we follow on this channel otherwise that's all from me and i wish nothing but the best in your stock market investing journey and before of course you load the boat or invest into naspas do your own due diligence so that at least you can be comfortable because as i've told you i'm not a professional financial advisor these are just my opinions and of course if you do your own due diligence you then get or become comfortable when you are investing into this company like naspas and the other stocks that we talk a lot about on this channel otherwise that's all from me and god bless you all